consistency of Gallon. 998, back to back 998, he wins. Mm-hmm. And I think that race very shows why Gatlin is more likely to make the team than anyone else. Because you just look at the juxtaposition, love using that word, uh, between Gatlin <laughs> and Kyrie King. Kyrie King beats Gatlin. You're like, whoa, Kyrie King, watch out. 997 beats Gatlin 998. And then a week later, King is running 1023 and Gatlin still runs 998. And I think there's something to say about consistency in the 100 that is what drives success and the seeing like the younger guy King kind of having the big win and then like a big loss. Well, Gallon's like, well, yeah. I'm just going to stay consistent. And as long as I'm here the entire time of when it matters most, I'll, I'll be in the top three. And so I thought Gatlin's mm-hmm. nine ninety eight, very impressive sub 10 again um, at the age 39. Is he 40 yet? He's not 40 yet. I think he's 39. No, he's 30. I know that one. He's older than me. He's older. Yeah, he's older. He's older than I, you. I, uh, I keep track of people relative to my age. Well, and who he beat too. It's not just the 998, but beats Andre de Grasse, medalist in 2019. Beats Kenny Benarek, who had a great race, 1003. It's a good run for him because he's more of a 200 guy. He's run fast hundreds as well. And then Lyles, you know, 1008. If he beats one of those guys in a race, you can chalk it up to, ah, they just had an off race. But beating that trio is strong. And then you mentioned King as well. Uh, dropping out to a 1023. I don't. I mean, are you going to talk about that 200 as well in your in your you know, well, raising? Or I want to say. Talking? I want to say why I'm not concerned about Lyles's uh, performance at sure. this meet in 2019 at the Tom Jones Memorial yeah. in 2019. He ran 1014. I got second in a race. Yeah. So like, and then that's the year he went on to run 195. So I yeah. think, uh, and you know, so I think uh, he's going to be okay. He's really good at kind of starting slow in the shorter distance, the 60s and the hundreds. But his bread and brothers are 200, and he'll show up and still be a 19.5 type guy. I think when all is said and done. Yeah, I anyway, think I just want to say about Lyles. Well, in Gatlin's last two weeks, I think proves the point you've been trying to make of just like he's just going to be steady as she goes the entire season, and. You'd be shocked if you saw a nine eight one, but you'd also be shocked if you saw a ten one. And if you just keep it right there in the middle, nine ninety eight, maybe you'll probably have to drop a couple hundreds off that when it comes time to get to the Olympic trials final. But not much faster. You just keep your keep your nerve in there. But you look at what the other guys in the event are doing, and he's getting he's racking up some quality wins here. I'm also not worried about Lyles for the reason you mentioned. Um, it, it seems his hunter takes a little bit longer to. I mean, I, I guess it's kind of hard to figure, to judge that because it depends when he races. But two hundred, obviously, less start dependent, right? Hundred might take a little bit longer for him to get that extra bit of sharpness. But I'm not. I'm not betting against him in the in the trials. It's going to be, man. If we're doing like who's who's still a contender here? I mean, you you can't count out Baker based on what he did at the Texas relays either. Romel. Lot. There's there's your five or six at least. I know I said there was eight guys who had broken, other than Coleman and Norman, who had broken ten over the last couple of years. Maybe you don't think a couple of those are serious contenders, but that still leaves at least five or six. 